Hello, welcome back. We tried to cover uh, some of the technical stuff around the Azure stack. This time is around the identity. So we cover the AAD and the various ADFS around single sign-on and authentication part. So we move on to like you know, as you can see the admin portal and the admin arms, the integration, for example, of the AAD, and then the enterprise dedicated for resource manager, the public portal, and arm um, against the same Active Directory. That will be the uh, Azure Stack itself with single tenant. With multi tenant, you can see same approach. However, in this scenario, uh, the, the, the primary tenant, secondary, and third, like, you know, will be shared across the hosting and, you know, ADFS on premise. Or we have the single stack with ADFS, AD graph, stamp ADFS, stamp AD, and Azure Stack. Again, interaction with Azure Portal. ARM and the application itself, or the multi approach would be something like this. Yeah, again, same approach with multiple and custom integration. That will be authentication authorization. If I go to the networking, uh, something like around VIP, private VIP, hybrid NIC, and logical networking with top of, uh, of the rack sitting on the Azure host storage and Azure uh, basically uh, VNet and subnet. And then you go the infrastructure sitting at the top. These are the basically what they mean. We have infrastructure 20 slash 24, storage 25. See so how many IPs we need. It's quite a lot to advertise and consume it. Some of the that will be uh, something look like the like you know some survival examples like something like this yeah servers and protection against like you know uh, failing and you know. Uh, issues might occur and you know the ips and you know the scenarios and then the last part is just to give you more details you got the initial release these are the releases you know standard vm cpus it's available on microsoft website you can all review from there publicly are available and how much like memory cpu are provided and the cost associated with them and again performance around something like this you see database server deployed through arm template transaction logs and for server CPU, database size, and it, uh, the uptime, and the initial uh, response, and you know, uh, associate with this uh, examples. Um, I, there are plenty of demos available from Microsoft, but that was the last what I have for you. Thank you for watching, and goodbye for now.